Hi guys, how's it going? Today is such an exciting day because, drumroll please, brrr, I wish I had like a booty to do that on or something. <laughs> I got ah, the Jacqueline Hill palette. I know y'all jealous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is the Jaclyn Hill palette in collaboration with Morphe, if you did not know. These are all the shades. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah. I was gonna like do this whole thing where I like brought the palette out and like swatched it for the first time, but I couldn't resist. Y'all know I could not. I was like <laughs> the moment I got it. Oh, a little about this palette. Um, the get 35 shades for $38. There is no mirror, which I don't really care about because I think that those get scratched up and janky and half the time you can't even see out of them. I personally do all my makeup at home. I don't ever really do it on the road unless I'm traveling. So it doesn't really matter to me. And it comes with this little car with all the shade names. And I do kind of think it's ridiculous to name 35 shades when the shades are not, the names of the shades are not gonna be on there. But to me, this only really matters if you are someone that makes YouTube videos. You know, when you're at home doing your makeup, you're not gonna be like, oh, I forgot the name of the shadow. You know, you're just gonna use the shadow. It's only relevant to people who are doing a tutorial where I'm like, I'm now I'm gonna use the color pool party or hunts or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch like five of these for you guys of, the, of some of my favorites. I mean, it's really hard because all of these are my favorites. Um, but I don't feel like I need to swatch like all of them for you guys just because there's so many videos out there. There's her video of her swatching them. So realistically, I don't need to. So I am gonna take the shade Sissy, which is a half pink, half gold pigment. I'm going to take this brown. I love this brown with the glitter. I'm going to take, of course, Pool Party, because I know y'all want to see that. Um, I'm going to take this green, which is so pretty. And I'll take this really pretty orangey burnt matte red. So here is the burnt red color. Holy crud. This is a uh, Sissy. This pink one, half gold, half pink pigment. Ugh. This is this brown one. It's kind of like a matte brown with like gold flecks of glitter in it. It's so pretty. It has like a sheen to it. This is Pool Party. I know y'all love that. And then this is that like forest green. Okay, so the names of these shadows are Hunts. This is Hunts. The next one is Sissy, the half gold, half pink. This brown with the glitter in it is called Meeks. And this is Pool Party, and this green one is Diva. So, yeah. I am obsessed. And those are only some of my favorites. There's so many other shades in this palette. This blue is one of my favorites. Um, the two highlight shades are amazing. That's what I'm wearing today as well. I mean, I just love this thing. Hands down, love it. Couldn't get enough of it. If you're on the fence about buying it, get it. I 100% recommend it because if you, you know, you're still get only paying like a, do a little over a dollar for these eyeshadows. So I think that that's really worth it for 35 shades. And I mean, I did a pretty good job. And so did Jacqueline. So if you guys want to see how I did this beautiful sunset blue lagoon. I don't know what I'm going to name this. <laughs> At first I was like, I'm going to name it Midnight Sunset. And then I was like, that's stupid. There's no sunsets at midnight. So I don't know what I'm going to call this. It's a really, it is like a really pretty sunset um, look. So stay tuned if you want to see it thanks for being here All right starting us off you already know mac fix plus i'm gonna take some fit me foundation on the back of my hand you guys know this routine you guys already know until i find something better than this this is always gonna be my go-to i'm just going to take my morphe m441 brush today it's nice and clean and i'm just going to put this all over my food just gonna take a little bit more because we got to do that forehead. Today I'm actually doing a new step in my face routine that you guys have not seen. I'm actually going to do some concealer. So I kind of just bring the concealer out like this. I don't really go crazy making like big triangles or anything. I just bring a little bit under the eyes. And you guys would not believe what a difference this makes. I mean, I was in denial before. I put a little on the bridge of the nose, and then I do a little on the chin. 
and then I do a little on the forehead. So I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques brush. This is the Expert Face Brush, and I love this because it's perfect for getting right under here. Look how like much brighter my face looks already. It's crazy. Crazy, crazy. I'm doing a stippling motion underneath the eyes so that I don't pull. And I'm bringing it up, up to the temple. Same with this side. So now I'm gonna be really bougie today and use my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Micro Finishing Powder. That's what I do. And I'm gonna take this off and I'm gonna use the cap first. This is a weird powder because it has like a little trampoline in there. But I'm gonna take this powder and I'm just going to set where I did my concealer. Looks like it's smoking. All the powder is going everywhere. <laughs> oh wow. Hi. You guys know. I'm already taking these. I was thinking the other day, it was so funny, I was like, I am, I might want to do like a end of the year favorites video, hmm. And then I started thinking about it, and I'm like, I literally have used the same products for most of this year. <laughs> I've literally used most of the same products for this year. Like, I feel like you guys could just watch all these videos and know what my favorites of the year were. <laughs> You guys, I was so happy to get this palette. It was actually really crazy because I just barely made it. Like she was like on Snapchat, Jacqueline was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. The palette sold out online in 45 minutes. And I was like, it took me 30 minutes to process my order. Like I barely got a palette. This is this is how like crazy uh, like a crazy person I am. So I woke up 10 minutes before the time of the launch and um, I called my mom and my mom was like, I was like, I'm going to need your help, blah, blah, blah. You know, the server is crazy, this and that. And so my mom is like on her computer and I'm like on my phone talking to my mom with my hand on my laptop. Like I have all these carts going trying to process it because it's like you're in line to process and you're just like, okay, ugh. So <laughs> my mom's on there. I'm on there. My mom's like, all right, I'm at the shipping page. I'm at the shipping page. I'm like, okay, go, 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 go. Put in all the information you can. Go, go, go. <laughs> It was the funniest thing. I'm being crazy today. I'm going to use my Love Flush blush on my Real Techniques brush. This is so pigmented, so I have to be like, eh, eh. Like, already I'm like, oh, geez. These are really good br blushes. I think they're worth the money for show. Hmm. We're looking glam. We're looking so glam. I'm going to do brows. I'm going to get close to y'all. Just light strokes on the bottom, filling it in. I'm going in. Just pulling out that little tail over there. <gasps> so I'm just gonna brush through these. I swear, a spoolie is your best friend when you're doing your eyebrows. I'm gonna take my Make Me Brow. I'm just gonna brush my little gel through to kind of set them. I like this better to set them because it has a little bit of tint in it. Oh my god! Who is that doing their damn motorcycle when I am trying to talk? Like, hello? I need a sign that says taping now so people can shut the hell up. It doesn't make your brows look too thick. It still makes them look really natural because it's just adding those little fibers in there. And it's a little bit tinted, so it's adding a little some extra, you know, kind of like when you put mascara on. So, I'll love it. I'm going to now be putting some Urban Decay Potion Primer on my eyes to prime them. Hmm. All right. <laughs> so excited to use this. Okay, so I go ahead and zoom you in. First, I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's called MFEO. And this is going to be my transition color. This is actually a color that I have not touched. I'm going to lightly go in and just put this into 
my crease very lightly back and forth. And I'm going in with a really light hand. I'm barely touching it. And I'm barely touching my eye right here. I'm going to do one more coat on this side. I'm going to take the shade Butter. The shade right here. So we're getting a little, getting a little darker now. And I'm just going over top of that. This is going to be a lot of layering. Now I'm going to take this color right here. That color is called Creamsicle. And I'm going to layer that right over top. Oh yeah. I'm concentrating this on the top part of where I just put the eyeshadow. I'm gonna clean my brush off with my color switch. Alright, now I'm gonna go in with this color right here, this really pretty orange matte, which is called Hunts. I got a little bit, and I'm just concentrating on the outer corner. I guess this was a shade that her and Linda Tewill, who is the owner of Morphe, her and her brothers are the her and her brother are the owners of Morphe, and I guess she like perfected this color for Jacqueline. So Jacqueline was like, "We're naming it your little nickname." Like always, it's good to like look back at yourself, like look close up, and then like back it up, back back it up. Now I'm gonna take my Morphe. 242 brush, this little synthetic brush. I'm gonna spray it with some MAC Fix Plus. Kinda get the brush wet, cause we're about to pick up a lot of pigment. A lot of pigment. I'm gonna go in with this really pretty blue shade right here. That one is called To Work. Yes, girl. I love this blue, cause it's like a really pretty indigo. And I'm just kind of gathering product on my brush like this. And I'm going to pack this all over the lid. I'm also going to use my finger a little bit. So I feel like this one's better put on with like your finger. And then I'm just going to go on more with the brush. And I'm just going to pack on that color. Oh man, that looks so pretty. Now, I'm going to take this little E17 brush by Morphe, it's a little flat synthetic brush, <sighs> and I'm going to go in with this color down here. This is like a really inky purple. It's called Soda Pop. So, I'm just going to stipple that around, and I'm just going to smoke out the outer corner with that. And then I'm just bringing it across gonna smoke out this outer corner I used a smaller brush so I could be a little more precise with it I'm gonna take my m441 brush and I am going to now go in with this color here this like really dark cranberry which is called Jax and I'm just gonna go right above that and clean everything up smoke it out make it a little red Going back in again, going very lightly, kind of blowing or tapping off the excess. And starting in the outer corner and just cleaning that up right there. Ooh, that looks really good. Just gonna take a little more, go a little higher. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna dust off any excess powder underneath my eye, but there doesn't seem to be a lot of fallout. I'm really just gonna go back in with this brush that doesn't really have any product on it, and I'm just gonna try to smoke everything out and blend everything out, making it look really seamless. Now I'm taking my must have smudge brush and I'm going to go. <sighs> back in with this red color here called um, Jax and I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line
gonna take this little Smashbox brush and just buff out the edges. Take this Urban Decay brush, I'm gonna take this little end and I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, this second highlighting shade, and it's called Beam. And I'm gonna place this in the inner corners of my eyes. Um, Damn, that's blinding. And I'm going to take the other end and I'm just going to dab it lightly and put it in my... And highlight my brow bone. Damn, that's good. Okay, so because my camera was running out of time, I just went ahead and did mascara. I didn't put lashes on because I feel like... Um, I wanted to give the eyes their own moment, so I'm just going to go in with my Morphe M510. I'm going to go back in with Beam, and I'm going to highlight my cheekbones. Because this palette is great for highlighting. Ooh. I'm just going to do my nose. Oof. That is good. That is good, Jacqueline. I'm just going to go in with a little lip liner and in the nude by Essence. And I'm going to go over with some Maybelline um, Color Sensational Lipstick, and this is Nude Lust. Mmm, looks so good. I'm just going to take some more MAC Fix Plus, and I'm going to spray it on my face to set my face. Okay guys, I think we are done with the final look, but I'm obsessed with this look. I think it's so pretty. I love the highlight. Oh my god. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this palette. If you were kind of on the fence about getting it, get it. It's so good. I love it. Oh, mm, mm. I love you guys so much. <laughs> thank you for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.